My name is Gary B. Ferber. I'm Chris Connerton, junior partner in the Cooper Royal Art Collection. Let's take, let's just look at this for just a few minutes. This is a tapestry with Holland shoes on. The Carbon Dane report says 1681 to 1738. I'm sure that's a choice. What amazes me about this piece of work is you see this in this color? It's got multi colors. But when you flip it up, it's got the same image in the back, but it's like dark brown and cream color, tan. I really don't know how they did that. Some kind of loom. I was trying to figure it out mentally in my head, but just, it's gotta be two different threads. It can't be the same thread. And they're doing their chores. They're religious, you can see. There's a wheelbarrow. There's wheat, they got a rake. Fruits. And they're all kind of happy doing their daily chores. This is back in the 16 and 17 hundreds as well. This is just phenomenal. Well, to me, this tapestry is worth a million dollars. There's where the piece up there, that's where they did the carbon dating. They, had took, a, they took a big sample out of this. I don't know why they took so much. But the carbon dating reports here. Science, you know, science doesn't lie. Science tells the truth. Cuba pipe. I have one carbon dating report saying 1790 to 1870. It's not from ceramics, from another testing group up in Massachusetts. This would be the king's personal pipe. Yes. It would be a one of a kind. It was in his shrine. It is not handled by the tribal members. The experts said that was a, king that was an antelope with horns. I don't know if they ever looked at an antelope. But an antelope is a pointed snap. That does not have a pointed snap. To me, it looks like a bow constrictor. This is a tribal favorite, the Katanga Cross, copper from the Katanga region of the Congo. Three of these will get you a wife if you wish to meet Mrs. Ayer. A fourth cross and a goat would help. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Sounds really funny, but that's a fact. And the stories. That's the first sign of money ever used in Africa. I believe it dated from 1300s on. They still make them today. I was told they, they just make a, uh, an artwork cross in the sand and then they just pour the copper in it. But this is, this is in a category by itself. We're talking modern African art, 20th century African art. Uh, it's red hot in the world of, uh, of money. Uh, tribal artifacts, things of an age to the 16 and 1700s are virtually impossible to find anywhere. You're lucky to find something from the late 1800s. It would have almost the value of these objects were they 200 years newer. Person with the right amount of money, it might go for, it might go for a million there. One more? So I'd you pay. Can't get it no more. I'd pay $49.95 in three easy installment payments. Not to me. <laughs> They're cool mugs. They're in the shrine also. Story, the story goes they used to put wine in here and they put something else. If you were lying, you would die. If you was telling the truth, you'd live. Well, it's a harsh test. We don't have any liars to come back and right. talk about. If, if they think if they think you're lying, they used to put a concoction in there and they tell you to drink it. And if you were lying, you'd drop dead. If you weren't, you'd you'd stay alive. We don't have it here. We just have a lie detector test. <laughs> That's their lie detector test. <laughs> That's one piece of wood. You have to have a small hand to go back there and do just as good in the Backside as well as the front side. The fakes that were ever made from the Kuba tribe to be sold to Taurus, they don't have that precision of beauty. And that is the equation of all, really all art. That's why they're in museums, because of the beauty. And they wonder how they did it. What tools do they have to work with? Seashells? <laughs> the simplest description would be power and beauty. Tell the story. That's it. The king has features like a lot of people don't know about it. Matter of fact, the experts even disregard me. But such as in the middle of the ear, there's three nails in there. 
And I read in uh, history books that they put magical substance in there, and then they plugged them up with the nails. And Samuel, he uh, agreed with that, who was from the United Nations. But three plugs on either side in front of the ears indicate uh, three in on the, the lineage temple. of the And they actually look like temples. Before him, making this the fourth endoc. Mabichi. Well, I was really astonished about it. He told me a story that when they, they chopped a piece of wood, 12 o'clock at night, they climbed up this tree limb. And after they chopped the wood, they came down and they made a dinner for the king. Now, if they were hunting and they hunted for something, they wouldn't hunt there again. If they fished and they gave the king a fish, they wouldn't fish there again. And if you blow the ear up, this resembles a fish. There's its little mouth. It's eaten like a salmon egg. It even has a gill in there with this artwork. Very detailed. Fine. Every detail of the drawing look would be the, specific the to the end up himself. Look how he slants his body when he's sitting in a position. And as far as I know, there was only three kings that were smiling. This one smiles. I found two that were smiling. There's only 11 left. Out of the original 18. There's seven missing. He's just gorgeous. They say, oh, but there's nothing from the, they call that the Rhine. Rhine up, he's got a flap over his privates. That's all he's got. He doesn't have a mug. He doesn't have a wine glass. He's smiling. <laughs> Who knows what that guy did? <laughs> did two tests here. I have one from another company. That is from the one in Massachusetts, the big one. And this one right here is from Saram, the little one. And both tests are comparable. The little off. Puts the king between 1680 and 1720. Exactly what the authenticity report says. I'm going into a convenience store. <laughs> That's a, a very strange story. <laughs> yeah, and as to we always think about how we meet uh, Gary and the Chris. We yes. said that we don't know God is working in different way because she was going in the gas station. It's like everybody gas station. What kind of job? But God put her there does it to meet these two people amazing people and then we are making a new story in our life. Meeting Prosper through Charlotte where Gary went to play his lotto ticket. I feel he won. It's a, he's, a, he's an amazing gentleman. He and his wife introduced us to members of the uh, Cuba Royal Council. We were very fortunate enough to have two of them work for the United Nations for their nation, allowing us direct access right here in New York to their thoughts. They have brought the story home, the images, the backing, and we are now uh, working, uh, working, working with the Congo community, I would say, not toward any specific goal other than for them to be able to tell their story. I came here, I met somebody who told me, you know, American people, you can find them the very, very nice one, or you can find the very, very bad one. Just like all over the place. But uh, when we meet Gary, I have many friends. I told you I'm 10 years here. I met many people. I work with many people. But I never met the amazing people like these two young behind us. Our family always, we pray for them. Yeah. Now this time he loses my... Should be a movie. Yes. Let me tell you something. Gary said he did four years. Maybe trying to find us. <laughs> Not us, actually. It's to, to make... Because 40 is a really important number. 40 is an important number. Now it's an accomplishment. So he found all of everything he was looking for for 40 years, right? Mm -hmm. It's not us, even him, but God planning. Mm -hmm. Yes. And her king knows about it, and he's even giving consent. He was pushing me. My king was pushing me to come here, just to meet Gary. Let me tell you, when we just came, we, we tried to find a house in New Jersey. We can. And when we called here, once he said, no, there is an empty house here. 
and we came here just maybe to meet God. We don't know God's plan. And you guys are lucky to meet my king, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Charlotte is number one again. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay, to Cuba Artwork at CubaArts.com. It would sure look good in open Has. blue.